Yamaha um, has always been good to me, you know, through ups and downs. And I was on Yamaha as a kid. I just, you know, Brock Glover was like my guy to watch whenever I got to see a Supercross or a, back then it was um, Super Bikers on ABC. Like that was, that was what I used to see on TV. I probably rode Yamahas for 30, 35 years. I, I don't even know how many years, but it's been a long time. I remember like it was yesterday, I went to Keith McCarty's house, I sat on his couch to discuss what we were going to do for the next year and that's when he told me um, that Yamaha wanted me to ride the four stroke and my heart kind of sank. I really struggled with what to do. I was very skeptical. I couldn't, I couldn't answer him right then and there. I had to, I had to think about it for a little while. and. Uh, I. And, and it was it was good. I talked to family and friends and uh, just people around, and you know they said just you know you know it's probably a good idea to just just try it, you know, go for it. And uh, you know so so when it came down to it, you know it was just like let's do it, you know let's we'll do the best we can. And I went to Japan and tested the bike and loved it. You know I really I fell in love with it. I I come from a mechanical background and uh, I went to school for for machine tool. And uh, when I saw the bike, I just, I was amazed by the beauty of it. Uh, you know, the, the, all the machine parts and carbon fiber and magnesium and titanium and aluminum. It was just, it was, to me, it was a beautiful bike. I raced two strokes my whole life and I had four strokes that were just beater bikes to just play around on. And so you, when I was on a two stroke, I was racing, training, pushing hard to get every second out. When I was on a four stroke, I'm riding wheelies, going through the woods you know, riding with my buddies. It was just a play bike. So now I brought both, Yamaha brought both those bikes together. Now it was a fun race bike. You know, to me it was like a fun, it was a really fun bike to ride. Two stroke, you know, is very uh, short power band, you know, short, you know, so it was very tricky to hold your, hold your line on a slippery corner, but still accelerate to clear a jump. But with the four stroke, you can just, you can hold your line very good and, you know, accelerate nice and smooth. And so for me, it was acceleration was very smooth and very consistent. There was so much doubt. And, and, and that was the thing with certain little things I remember my, about my career. And one of, the, one of the things was working late Thursday night. And another thing was getting to Vegas with the four stroke for its debut. And I, and I knew what we had. Vegas was the perfect place to debut that bike. You know, it's just a hard, slippery track. Four strokes just track so well on. So many people, so many people doubted the four stroke um, because they haven't, they, they didn't see it. They de they never seen anything like that. So I didn't realize the impact that it would have uh, until after the after the race. I think everybody was like, "What just happened?" You know, like we were all like. I can't believe that that you know that 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 just happened. I can't believe we just won a Supercross on this bike the the first time out. You know, so it was just it was a bit surprising. Two stroke guys have been able to to put four stroke four stroke fans and racers down for many many years because four strokes can't compete. Four strokes can't compete. But there's some diehard four stroke guys out there. And when I won that race in Vegas, they were you know so happy and you know they were just. You know, it was just everybody went out and bought a 400. Whoever can get one, we went out and bought the, the new YZ400. So, uh, and, and, and then amongst the, the, it trickled out to the rest of the industry, seeing the exhaust companies go from um, two stroke pipes to four stroke pipes and the whole industry and cams. And now we're talking a different, different type of engine. So the, so the whole industry itself just, to me, seemed like it changed with that, with that one race. I, I think it was great when I, the first time I went over to Japan after after that race, and uh, seeing the reaction of, of everyone at, at Yamaha, um, it was really cool because I felt like they created such an awesome product for me to to go and win on, and to see how many people it 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 it, it made happy, you know, like how many people had worked on this bike, this project, so many people, and to have the success that we had, it was just. And it was just such a great feeling to be a part of that, to be, you know, to, to be a part of that. I think it was the team effort, you know, like, so I was the rider, but I think Yamaha did more of the work than I did. You know, they, they did the development of, they took this chance, you know, I mean, I took a chance too, but, but, 
you know, I, I believe that, that they really, they did their homework when they made this four-stroke. 